only thing you're going to need is just your body and a mat. Uh, also, if you need some water, why not? It's always good to rehydrate uh, those muscles as we stretch them. I'm excited today because I've actually gone along with the word shrimp today. We'll be doing some shoulders, some hamstring and hips, some runner's lunge, some inner thighs. So um, excited to go over this with you today. Again, um, I'm going to put on my watch and just call it yoga. Right, doesn't hurt to get some extra calorie movements or movement calories today. And oh, it's way down here. I guess I haven't done yoga in a really long time. Well, there's actually a cool down too. Let's call it cool down today. Ah, all right. So, like I already said, we're going to start with some shoulders. I want you just to get standing position. Your feet are just hip width apart. Knees are soft, and I just want you to roll your shoulders back. Nice and big. Way to start the week with some shrimp. Of course, this goes for Forrest Gump's movie. Bubba. Three, two, and one. All right, now you're going to take your right ear to your right shoulder and then take that left shoulder. So now we're just doing single roll with a stretch on the left side of your neck. Think about that right ear being heavy. Good night, Cheryl. Three, two, and one, good. Other side, left ear, left shoulder. And then right all the way back, down. I hope the mothers out there had a great Mother's Day. Remember, you can be a mother of pets, plants, people. <laughs> Basically, we're all mothers. Three, two, and one. Good. Head up to center. Now you're going to do a cross body stretch with that shoulder. Done this before. Take that left arm across, right arm under, and then pull in. Good, Lisa. Hug it tight. You can think about that starfish breathing. Maybe you have some relaxing ocean music on. Two, and one, good, other side, right arm across, pull it in, relax your shoulders, three, two, and one. Good, from here, you're gonna take those legs out wide. And I want you to have your hands, i can show you from the side here. Um, trying to think of crisscross, okay? So palms are facing each other. And all I want you to do is try to lift those arms up. You can go up and down. You might be only lifting one or two inches away from your tailbone. And that's okay. And notice what hand is clasped on top. Pretty restricted. Yeah. Two. And one. Now to switch whatever hand is on top. And then same thing. Lift. Notice one, maybe get a little bit higher, depending on what hand is on top. Three, two, and one. Good, release. 
Woo. Or I have those palms facing down. It's just some swings for me. Doesn't have to be fast. Keep that rib cage in. You can switch those arms on top. Good, Bobby. Long neck, long neck. Three, two, and one. And then finally, we're gonna have a behind the back active stretch. So I want you to take just your left arm out. I'll show you from the side angle here. Right arm is gonna feed behind on the outside of that forearm. Hopefully you can see it. There you go. And all I want you to have is that right arm pull a little bit on your left and then relax. Pull in, relax. From the back, reach, pull. Two and one other side. Good. Nice, Sagey. Good, Lisa. Pull, relax. Good, Alyssa. Three, two, and one. Good, let's take that left arm. Usually a warm up exercise. Think about backstroke. Get that full range of motion. Add some rotation too. And your torso. Three, two, and one. And then that right arm. Today's class is being recorded. So you can definitely do this again. I will send it out to you guys after. And of course, post it on the YouTube. Three, two, and one. All right, those shoulders, woo, feeling good. Going down, we got that letter H for hamstring and hips. We're gonna start with our basic hamstring stretch. We've done this before. So you're gonna take that right foot, I mean that left foot up, toe facing the ceiling, right knee soft, and then hinge at that waist. Feel a long stretch there. Hands can just rest on those thighs. And breathe. Good, Veronica. Ooh, I'm feeling it all the way down into that calf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Toes up. Toes up. Three, two, and one. Good, switch sides. Right foot up, toes up. Hinge at the waist, nice straight back from your ears, shoulders to those hips. Lift that tailbone up towards the sky. A little bit deeper stretch there. Good, Cheryl. Three, two, and good. Coming on up, you're gonna cross that left leg on top of the right. And then I want you to have your right arm 
reach over to the side, pushing the hips out to the right. So again, left leg on top. Reach, 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 reach. Good, nice, Chris. Open chest. Good, come up. And now take that left arm over. What side is a little bit more restricted? Woo. A little bit of balance needed for this too. A little shaky, a little shaky. About that chest up, open. There you go. Might feel a little stretch here and need that armpit too. Two and one. All right, same thing, but now that right leg over that left. Right arm over. Relax the shoulders though. Keep breathing. Three, two, and same thing. Keep those feet there, just switching arms. Working on that range of motion in that spine too. Going lateral, pushing those hips out. Again, relax the shoulders. I forget to. Three, two, and good, woo, kind of a little workout there on the sides. Going into those standing hip flexors, what we usually do in our cool down, just taking a little bit longer here, take that right leg back. On the toes, send those hips forward, hips underneath here, there you go, right arm up, and then reach. So a lot of hip opening, squeeze that right butt cheek, Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Five more seconds. Three, two, back up, and then switch sides. Left foot back, on the toes, send the hips forward, squeeze, left arm up, and reach. Relax. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that left butt cheek, chest open. Three, two, and good. Coming on up. All right, let's have those feet just hip width apart. Set those hands on those hips and bring it around. After this, we're gonna be moving down to that letter R for some runner's lunge movements. Go around the other way if you're not there with me. Maybe your hip pops.
Now you're all on your own. You move it whatever way you want. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, so heading down to that runner's lunge. Think about when we do in our warm up, when we go out to the side, back leg is nice and long. That's gonna be that runner's lunge. So from here, front heel down, this front knee over that ankle, back leg on the toes or the ball of your foot. And then from the front showing you, all we're doing is walking your hands from the right to the left, right to the left. If you're not there with me, join me. We got about 40 seconds on this side. Try so you can go in front of that foot. Walk the hands and then back. Good, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Switching it up. Other leg, right leg in front. Front heel down, knee over ankle. And then when you're ready, hands from the left over to the right. 40 seconds. Ooh, this one's my restricted side. Get over there. Walk those hands. Now remember, it might feel funky today. Some of this stuff is brand new for you, but the more we do it, the more we practice, the better we're gonna get at it. And hopefully all of our other exercises will get a little bit easier. Feel a little bit more comfortable. We got less than 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep doing that, but then we're gonna add a downward dog. I'll show you first before you start with me. So in our downward dog, you're gonna basically try to feel the back of those legs. So here, think about making a teepee with your body or a mountain. I'm on the balls of my feet, but my goal is to get those heels down. So feel a good stretch in the back of the legs. And then think about pushing your chest towards your thighs. From here, walk it out. Runner's lunge, back. Runner's lunge, back. Walk it up and stretch. We're gonna be doing that all together for 90 seconds, okay? At your own, own pace. We're gonna be starting in about 10 seconds. If you wanna take out the downward dog and just practice the runner's lunges, you can do that as well. Also known as the world's greatest. And three, two, and begin. Here's that downward dog. Feel it. Everyone's different. So you might wanna hold it in a different position that you may think you need to hold it somewhere. You're like, oh, Rachel, I need to hold it there. Make it feel a little bit more comfortable. Get used to it, push chest into the thighs in that downward dog, that high plank position. Get that foot outside of that pinky. Maybe sink a little bit deeper into those hips. And downward dog. Woo. Keep it going, keep it going. We got less than 30 seconds. And 
and breathe. And five, two, and one. All right, dropping down to those knees, getting off those hands. We're gonna go into our letter I, which is gonna be our inner thigh. So we'll be doing a seated butterfly stretch. So you're gonna get on your booty. You're gonna get those feet facing each other. Sitting up nice and tall. You can do a little flutters here for me. Get used to it, maybe they get a little bit heavy. And then just hold it. Sit up tall, use those ankles, hands on the ankles, push yourself. There you go, big smile. Big smile for shrimp day. Pineapple shrimp, coconut shrimp, blackened shrimp, popcorn shrimp, fried shrimp, shrimp etouffee. We go on and on. Good. Then from here, right hand behind your right thigh, left hand pushes on that left thigh or knee. Good, release and switch it up. Left hand behind you, right hand pushes down. You're in charge on how much pressure you put. Good, Seiji. This feels pretty good. Three, two, and one. All right, little flutters, little flutters. Continuing on, we're gonna have a child's pose, but with one leg extended. This is when I'm gonna need a little bit more cushion for my knees. So we know that child's pose, right? Knees together, hips back. But now we're gonna take one leg out. I'm gonna have my heel on the ground, toe is up. And then I'm gonna take this right knee slightly out from under my hip. From here, I'm gonna do a tra traveling child's pose. So when I go forward, my foot comes flat. When I come back, my toe comes up. Again, feeling that left inner thigh. Oh yeah. We're keeping it moving right now. But in about 20 seconds, we're gonna hold it back. Keep the core engaged as you walk forward. Three, two, now hold it back there. Oh, yes. Relax that upper body. We got five more seconds. Three, two, good, coming on up. Woo. Bring that leg in. Switch into that other side. You get into that child's pose first. Take that right leg out. Left knee out from underneath the hip a little bit. 
and then next 40 seconds, take it forward and back. Good. You can play around with that foot too. Toe sinks. The toe goes a little bit more up towards the sky. You might find that you can sit back a little bit deeper, opposed to the toe forward. And not only will you get that inner thigh, you'll get some more of that hamstring. About 15 more seconds before we sit back and hold it. Way to move, way to move. Three, two, and good little hold. While you're holding it, this might be the time if you wanna see what it feels like with toes up or toes down and sit back. Inner thigh more with the toes forward more of that hamstring getting deep into that hip with those toes up. Again, try one or the other. Maybe one feels a little bit better. Five. Two. And one. Woo, bring that in. All right, let's get those knees right underneath those hips. And I just want you to rock the hips side to side. Three, two, and one. Good, from here, we're gonna work on a mobility for our letter M of our thoracic and then getting into our shoulders. So I'm gonna show you from, I'll show you from this angle first. So I'm gonna to try to get my knees up as much as I can. And my palms are gonna be facing each other, resting my head. I'm gonna open up, try to keep this right shoulder down. So I'm gonna open, I'm gonna raise my hand as high as I can, bicep to my ear. And then I'm gonna go all the way down. Ooh, try to reach back to center and then close it. Showing you from this side, knees are gonna be up. We'll eventually get this side, but just to show you, open up. I'm gonna bring my hand down, up, back to center and close. Pick a side, I'm gonna stay on this side. Palms on top of each other. Here we go, 40 seconds. Three, two, and begin. Open up, up or down, does not matter. Keeping those fingertips as close as you can to the floor, all the way down. Woo, I can't reach all the way down. Back to center, and then close it. Good, open up, relax, and reach high. Fill it in the pec muscles all the way down as best you can. Back to center. Good, we're halfway. Open. And the last one here. Good breathing. Three, two, and one. Good, let's flip it over. Again, get those hips stacked on top of each other. Knees. The closer those knees are to your chest, the more difficult it's going to be. So take those knees out if needed. And let's see which side has a little bit more range. 40 seconds, 
starts now. Open up, arm up, arm down, and back to center. Close it and open it. Good, Chris. Go, Christina. One more. Three, two, and awesome. Let's take it to our backs. You're into a bridge position. So feet hip width apart. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bridge up and you're gonna take opposite arm to opposite overhead reach. Back in and down. Again, hips up, reach overhead, across and back down. Nice and slow. You're gonna feel again, nice little stretch here, shoulders. And then when you go up too, you're gonna feel a little bit more pressure on this side. So if this does not feel good, keep that shoulder down and don't go over that shoulder, okay? So again, modification here, step up, arm just reaches, keep the shoulder down instead of going all the way up. All right, back and forth, 90 seconds. Get grounded, feet flat. And three, two, begin. Bridge up, reach overhead, back home, and lower. Up, reach. Twenty more seconds. Some good hip extension here. Up. And three, two. And one, good little recovery here. Bring those knees into your chest. Relax your shoulders, you need to wiggle it out a little bit. Rock side to side. Three, two, and going, continuing. Onto our letter P's, we have our piriformis stretch, which is also our figure four. So then you that right leg on top, knee out to the side. Like always, move that ankle or foot around and around. Pull that top leg in. And then you can rock side to side with that leg up and pulling in. Good, Cheryl, good, Barb. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, 
two and release, switch it up. Other leg on top, knee out, pick it up. Rock side to side, move that foot. Good, Sagey. Way to go, Lisa. Three, two, and one. Here comes a new one. It's called pretzel stretch. So you're gonna be on your side, showing you just first, your top leg is gonna be over. And then you're gonna take your, I guess, obviously not the arm you're laying on. <laughs> this arm behind you is gonna be doing a quad stretch. So I'm gonna be reaching for this foot back here and pulling it in. So this bottom leg is getting a quad stretch. Top leg is on top. Again, the pretzel stretch. Ooh, this feels good. In front of those legs, getting some quads. Depending on what feels comfortable, my arm is pretty good feeling, just laying out here in front. Palm facing up. Is your heel to your tushy? Are you pulling that foot? No, you can't see mine. Keep holding it, keep holding it. Maybe push those hips forward to feel a deeper stretch. Oh yeah. Keep holding 12 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side just to show you what it looks like from the back. So again, rolling over onto that other side. Top leg is over. Bottom leg, getting into that quad stretch. Pretzel, pretzel, pretzel. Again, this arm here, just out in front of me. Pushing the hips forward. Front of those legs, front of those legs. Three, two, and one. Ooh, I love it. We got two more P's to do. So heading into, oh, this one's not my favorite because I'm not very good at it, but practice. Doing pigeon. We have pigeon and puppy. <laughs> I love all these P stretches. So for that pigeon, you're gonna take your left leg. The ultimate goal is to get this front leg to 90 degrees. And you're gonna feel it again, a piriformis stretch. So another P. And you're trying to get that right leg back and behind. So my hip over here is way elevated because I'm tight and that's okay. To make this easier, I can bring this leg in. So that heel closer to that inner thigh and can do this here. So again, modify, bring that foot closer to you to make it more challenging. Ultimate goal is to get it to that 90 degree and come on top of it. Ooh, oh yeah. 
again, then I could try to do this, dropping those forearms down. If this is way too much, little modification here, is doing a seated here, and then just bring that heel closer and closer, but don't lose your back. So sit up nice and tall. So same thing, same um, muscle group, but just a little bit, a little bit easier. And we're gonna hold this for 30 more seconds, just on this left side. Play around with it. Again, this is all about having a little fun. You can rock it, a little dance down here. I definitely need to do this more on Mondays, especially with our two workouts of the week. Tomorrow's our National Twilight Zone Day workout. And then we are back at it on Thursday with 24. Three, two, and switch. I'll continue to have, I need to do more of these mobility stretches more than once a month. Oh, this is my harder side. So I might have to start here. And I'll still have my weekend ones to celebrate the national days. But we're going back to the cool phrases behind me. Come Thursday. I already got Thursday's word behind me already, so. Ooh, feel it. Again, I'm starting here. This right, this uh, right hip of mine is a lot more restricted, so I'm not quite there to that 90 degrees. I'm way lifted. Again, take it to that seated. There you go. Good, good, good. Keep holding 20 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Ooh, that hit my gill stuck there. A little dance. <laughs> and then we have finally, but not least, we have our puppy pose. So for our puppy pose, you might feel more of a stretch in your lats and in your chest. For your puppy pose, your knees are underneath your hips. And instead of doing here for child's pose, you're gonna drop, you'd first maybe drop your elbows down. So knees under hips and then start taking the leg, uh, the arms out farther away from you. So shoulders, lats, you can rest your head down on your mat. And breathe. Keep that booty up. Three, two, and one. Good, easy. Take the elbows in. Same thing, back to those hip sways. Back and forth. And just like every workout, even though this is more of a stretching mobility workout, we will, we will finish with our starfish. Three, two, and one. Good, laying on our backs. Toes out, palms facing up. Come out in through your nose, out through your mouth. Hopefully your body feels a little bit more open. I know mine does. 
Here we go in three, two, and relax. Two, one, our final reach up, feet touching at the bottom, stretch, 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 stretch. Three, two, and one. Yay! Well, again, thank you so much for moving with me today. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. And please let me know if you have any feedback or if I didn't get a muscle group or if you need more of a modification, I apologize. I did not look more at the chit chat. So who knows what y'all were saying, unless you guys were having a full blown um, conversation, telling each other jokes maybe like Jeffrey will have for us on Thursday. <laughs>